Hi, it's Noah from Google Tech, and today I'm gonna do a quick review about the newest version of Pulsar Slicer, the 2.61. This is the Alpha 2 version that they just released for the public to try. There are a couple of new features. Uh, first of all, is my favorite is the major uh, features here. In the past, you can only know the overall dimensions of an STL file. You don't know uh, exactly the internal dimension like from here to here or the holes or the gap. But now you can actually measure it. For example, here I can know that the radius of this uh, hole is 11 uh, millimeter or the distance from here. Uh, first, let me start. Uh, here to here is 40 millimeter. This function is very useful in case you need to uh, modify the object to fit your need. The second function is the uh, cutting here. Uh, it's also very interesting because in the past you can only do the cutting function in the Z directions, but uh, from this version you can actually uh, choose whatever cut plan that you want for example here instead of z i can change it to um, this kind of surface because um, for example this one is a, a kind of hook or clip to the table and as you remember this is 40 millimeter but my table is around only 18 so i want to cut 20 away so we can cut it uh, from here when you move this one, it's going to tell you the distance, uh, the dimension of the top and the bottom part. Here, uh, let's say I'm going to cut so that the bottom part is uh, like here, 42. Okay, it's 20. Okay, I keep 20 from the bottom and um, I can perform cut now. So if we want to cut it right now, uh, what happens if we cut it in two parts? But if we want to do assemble them back together, because after all we can bring them separately and put them together, you can add a um, connector here. Uh, when you click on add connector, they're going to ask you what kind of connector that you need. For example, either the block is that they can make kind of one side male and the other side female and they match them together. Or you can choose the dual side uh, style which is uh, they make both of them female and then they can add one dual for you to uh, attach them together let let you can just try both of them here if i put a one here um let me choose the try the circle so when we put them like this and you confirm the connector and let's say you perform cut so now you see um when you slide you can see that here is empty uh, let me show you and this part is also empty they're both hollow and then you're gonna put this dual pin in here um, if you don't like um, this type of dowel you can also uh, choose another style, like I say male and female, like we have before. Uh, let me just undo everything and we can perform this again. So here, when you add an edit connector, we can actually edit this one, delete it, and we just choose the black style. Um, here, you can choose whatever prints are in circle. And when you put the pin here, now uh, let confirm connectors and performing cut like this now we have one a female and the other is messy see here is empty and here is a is a male to block them in um as i said before this part from here to here is 40 i want them just only 20 right so what i can do is i you cut uh, like 20 out of this one so let's come back to this and we cut it again here select the part and oh it's strange that i cannot cut it from the top here so basically uh, they let you cut more of this but not of this one okay so what we can do is change it in the way that we remove this 
uh, this part higher than that we can cut another time here okay we have the part here let's perform cut again this time we're gonna make this up to here so yes here okay let me perform and i add the connector here confirm connector and then performing cut so this is just example for you to see it not um because performing cut like this may not work so well with this this kind of clip but i just want to show you um how it is okay so when you slide now we have it here now let's perform and cut on this part again so that we can cut this piece away okay uh see like this part we can perform it cut again uh i can choose this to this one and uh, okay let's cut bottom part okay it is almost zero we're gonna cut kind of 15 out of it so 15.5 more or less um we can also add connector like we did before uh block right here okay oh okay but be careful with the 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 uh, position of the cut because maybe when you can not be able to connect back to it out to the other one but fine should confirm connector and performing cut so right now you can tie off uh delete this object and can put these two together okay let me just slide to see how it is okay okay um as we say we see that this one doesn't match with this one because uh i cut it two times right and every time i shut the leak uh let's see if i can adjust this connector and dimension also here is position is as long as the y and the z okay here yeah. oh yeah you can adjust this as you want so basically you can move it at the position that you feel like so the connector tool for example is 15.9 right so 15.93 you can do it the same like here with 15.93 just to make sure okay so now you see it at the same height so basically you can use this um position of this you can change it to match them two together in case you have to cut it two times like i did of course if you want to cut it only one time and print you don't have problem with this one okay so that is the first two function the measures and the cut function in um, prusa slicer after we cut this up and we want to put some text here let's say so you can always click on this is one of the new function here you can go to this and um, add part and you can add text on it so we have embossed text here uh, let's say let put it take to my channel is to take so this is google take um, you can choose to make it uh, up or make it like uh, make it uh, let's say convex or concave like this so you can either cut it in you can choose to cut it or you can choose to extrude it up uh, let's slide now to see what happens so here they are popping out you see but you can also do it in the way that it the engraved in so you're gonna cut in so to do that you can do to park here uh can edit text and so instead of added you can always choose subtract this so let's see now see 
you can have it like this now now let's talk about the support features um, here is I have a model that I downloaded from Thingiverse and it's a complex model that requires support uh, when we print uh, let's put it original um, support uh, everywhere here and 0.2 layers uh, printing and let's slide it now Okay, so this is how the normal support uh, was generated and it's, if you look at this uh, table here, you can see that the support material is 27.5% plus support material interface 6.4%. So in total around like 30-33% just for the support itself. Let's go to the print setting. Um, the support now uh, it used to have read and snap support, but now they also have the organic support. Let's change to that and we see what um, it's going to look like. This is here. Uh, this is kind of like tree support that you ever see in Pura Slicer. Um, with this one, they claim that the support right now is 20.2%. So it will reduce from 30, 32% to uh, around 20%. Um, let's look at the same model, but I have in the, uh, the Cura here. So this is with the normal um, support generated. Um, you could see here the, uh, the support material is around 28 and the support interface and 1%, so it's 29%. The other is like 32, this is 29. Um, there is um, another thing. If we change it to three support in Cura, and we slice it right now. Okay, so now we have another, uh, this is three uh, supports of, of Cura and this is 19% of support plus 2% interface, so 21%. Uh, so it's more or less like compared to the 20.2 of the Prusa, it's, it's comparable. Um, it's just one thing, so if, if you use another kind of support in Cura, and use the plugin of custom support uh, cylinder here. I'm gonna put the link up there for you to see uh, how how I can generate this kind of support. Um, you can check. You see that the support here is so little, and uh, eighty nine percent. Um, you can check the link to see how we generate this kind of thing. Here's the whole pictures of what kind of supports in Prusa Lyser, Cura, and Cura with. Uh, custom support like you can see the original of Prusa in the grid format is 33.9 percent if you choose the snack you can reduce it to 28 percent but the newest version of Prusa they have this guy of three style organic support and it make it to 20.2 percent uh, white in Cura 2.5.1 the normal support of them is more or less comparable to the SNAP support of Cura and it's 29%. And when you look at the three support in Cura, it is 21% compared to 20. So they finally catch up with the, uh, with the three support in Cura that could have been a while that have this kind of free support of course if you want to optimize your print and saving your material, you can use the Cura's plus the, the um, custom support cylinder, um, which is I have in another video. So you can save the material up to 9%. The good thing of um, the new Prusa Slicer function is that you don't really need to work much on this thing. Why uh, to get to this optimal number, I do have spent time to uh, design each of the column uh, myself. So, um, it's gonna you save you some time to use that. You spend a little bit more material, but you can save time doing uh, this kind of organic or tree support. Uh, if you already experienced with 
with tree support in the um, the Kura is the same. So that is all about uh, new functions of the Pusa Slicer 2.6. Uh, there's a couple of minor things, but to me, uh, these things are kind of very interesting and useful compared to on the old version. So um, I hope that uh, it could help you better with your 3D printing. And if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in the next one. Happy making!